That's it, little red tractor. Nice and straight. Morning, Mr. Jones. Stan! Look at them, Big Blue, trying to get their work done before us. Well, we can't have that now, can we? <laughs> Looks like Mr. Jones is ploughing zigzags. My chores and make a wish. I see Mr. Big on a great big dish. Everyone there in the town will sing. A Walter is the fishing king. My stumpy's been rushing around like a mad thing all morning. Dad's been the same. I've never known him work so fast. Hello, ladies. Need sweet corn and air. Slow puncture. Sweet corn and air? Sorry, Nicola, no time for chit-chat. Need corn chop chop. Urgent appointment with Mr. Big, don't you know? Sweet corn. <laughs> Best bait there is. What? Mr. Big? Oh, no. I better get a shift on. I can't let Mr. Jones get my Mr. Big. He also might get my secret spot. Ah, uh, here. Get ready, old girl. Ha <laughs> ha you little darling. There you go. Now for that air. Back later, Nicola. Gotta catch Mr. Big. Big? Oh, no, you don't, Walter. That fish is mine. Come on, Big Oh, but your tire. Oh, just once. You only had to work once. Oh, hard cheese. Can't stop. Must dare. <laughs> well, we've certainly earned our afternoon off. <laughs> Done, little red tractor. That was a bit close. Stumpy, where are you off to in such a hurry? Oh, oh sorry, Stan. I'm hurrying down to the li the li the le the um. Yeah, I'm um, um. Oh, it's no good, Stan. I'm going fishing. That'll explain the fishing tackle. Well, I'll keep it quiet though. In case someone else gets my secret spot, it's the best spot for fishing on the whole of the lake. And uh, <clears throat> rumour has it, Mr. Big's been seen first time in years. I heard. I'm headed to the lake myself after a quick stop at Gosling. I'll see you then. Oh, my worms! Oh, oh come back, is it? Oh, I'll see you later. Come back, Lawrence. And you, Brian. Shame. You been in a hurry and all. Yeah, shame. Probably missed that urgent appointment now. All right, all right. There was no appointment. I'm going fishing. Yeah, me too. Really? Would you believe it else? Fishing. Fishing, is it? Oh, I did wonder. Look, Walter, we have to get ourselves and all the tackle down to the lake. ASAP. In short, we need... Transport. Oh, no, you don't. I've got a garage to run, and Sparky's an emergency vehicle, not a taxi. Hmm. Oh, I've got a plan. A plan? Now you're talking. I'm sure I saw it here. Aha! Hi, Stan. Hello, you two. Hello, Little Red Tractor. <laughs> Where are you going? Little Red Tractor and I are going fishing. Fishing? Wow! Great! Can we come? Of course you can. Hop in the trailer and I'll get the spare rods. If I can find them. <laughs> Nearly there. Not far now. Walter. <coughs> this plan of yours... Oh, you don't have to thank me. Oh, boy, what a plan. <laughs> Just think of the time we save by not walking. Not walking. I have walked. <laughs> What's what you're doing? Stumpy, what are you doing? I have come to fish, and I hereby stake claim on this here spot. That spot? That spot is my spot. Your spot? 
No, this is my spot. My secret fishing spot. Well, it can't be. I've been fishing this spot since... since forever. It's not yours. It is so. No, this is my spot. I can't see your name on it. It's been mine since I moved here. You've only been here five minutes. I grew up here. I was here first. But I pushed you. Well, we could share it. <laughs> share? Well, there's enough room. Share? Good idea. Problem solved. I think I'll go on the left, unless you're going there, Stumpy. Oh, no, I'll be fine here on the right. Share? I'm taking you to my secret spot, so you can't tell anyone about it. Don't worry, Stan. We won't say a word. Promise. OK, let's go. Come on, little red tractor. I said, let's go. What's wrong? I'm not sure. Looks like little red tractor doesn't want to go down this path. Seems he'd rather go left. Oh, well. Let's see what's down here. Hold on. I think I recognise this. This is it. This is my granddad's secret spot. He used to bring me fishing here as a lad. I'd forgotten all about it. Well done, little red tractor. Come on. I'm going to teach you two how to fish. Great. I'm going to catch our dinner. I want a pet fish. I'll keep it in a bowl on top of the telly. Well, we'll see. <laughs> Stop wriggling. Hello, you lot. Hello. Oh, do be quiet. Hello. Afternoon, gents. Shush. What? A bite. You've got a bite. Strike. Ugh. Oh, Amy's got a bite. Impossible. Those old, old sausages. I don't know what to do, Stan. You're doing fine. <laughs> That's it. Let it run. And don't let go. Now, pull the rod up. And as you lower it, reel in. Yeah, I, I'm here now. I could take over, if you like. Amy's doing just fine, thank you. She's doing great. <laughs> here you all are. Oh, my. This is it. Now heave it in. Careful. Ha-ha. <laughs> Got you, Mr. Big. Well, would you believe it? It's Mr. Big! <laughs> it's huge! I think you're going to need a bigger bowl. We're going to need a bigger telly. You know, I, I remember catching my first... Oh, oh it, it, it was slippery. Oh, Butterfingers. My fish! Oh, uh, well, I'm sorry, Amy. I... I really didn't mean to let go. It's OK. I think it would have been too big for me to look after. That's the spirit, Amy, love. The fun part's the catch. We always throw them back anyhow. Well, that's right. It's very true. Very true. Well, it was fun. And we can come back to Little Red Tractor's secret spot whenever you like. <laughs> come on, everyone. Let's go back to Gosling. I've got some fish fingers in the freezer. Yeah. Oh, right idea. Right. Hiya. Hi, little red tractor. Where's Stan? There he is. Stan. Look. There you go, Charles. That will stop you getting sunburnt. Your turn now, George. Why is he rubbing sunblock on the pigs? He's gone daft. Maybe the heat's got to him. No. Not Stan. Hello, you two. I didn't see you there. Are you OK? Never better. Are you sure you're OK? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I see. No, I know it looks strange, but I have to make sure my pigs don't get sunburnt. Pigs don't get sunburnt? Of course they do. Their skin is a lot like ours. Talking of which, 
You two had better put some of this on as well. Mum's already covered us in that stuff. You can never be too careful, especially when it's as hot as it is today. What are you going to do now? Yeah, and can we come and help? Sure. Now, what shall we do first? Patch up the barn roof, fix the leaking gutter... Oh, Stan, it's too hot to do that sort of thing. What about driving around on literary tractor? We'd be nice and cool in the trailer. I've got a better idea. What about going back to the farm and making some ice lollies? Yeah! Oh, Stumpy, I wish you'd get off your backside and do something. I am doing something. I'm milling the corn. It's not my fault there's no wind to drive the mill. If there's no wind, surely you could be painting the bathroom instead. Oh, no, you see, else, if I were painting the bathroom, there's no way I could possibly get the milling done. Yes, but... but... oh, I give up. It's too hot to argue. <laughs> Ain't nobody passing by my way. Too hot to go, too hot to stay Nothing to see, nothing to do Oh, garage life on a sunny day Hi, Walter. Getting a bit of practice in? Yeah, but something ain't right. I've got no rock today And for, and for a rock and roll man like me not to have any rock, well, well, I'm all roll Perhaps it's just too hot to rock Yeah, I like that, Stan it's too hot to rock that dang a dung a Wow, yeah, not bad. Think I'll shut up shop early today, see if Stumpy feels like jamming with me. Uh, before you do that, can we get some oranges and lemons from you? We're going to make fresh fruit ice lollies. Stan's going to show us how. Ooh, I like the sound of that. I'll tell you what, you can have the fruit on the house if you make an extra lolly for me. It's a deal. Oh, marvellous. Is that my flower there, Stumpy? Nope. That's still your corn there. What? My, my, my corn? Well, why is it still corn and not flower? Wind. Wind? There isn't any. But... If the wind don't blow, then the sails don't go round. Yes, but you... If the sails don't go round, then the millstones don't turn. I know, but... And if the millstones don't turn, then the corn don't get ground. Oh, this is infuriating. There must be something you can do. No wind, no milling. Without the flour, I can't get my money from the bakery. Without the money from the bakery, I can't buy a new hat. Without the... Oh, listen to me. I'm starting to sound like Stumpy. There's no point getting all hot and bothered. Do like I do. Chill out. Chill out. Yeah, kick back. Relax. <laughs> right, here we go. I didn't think that making lollies would be as hard as this. It will all be worth it. What do we do now? First, add a little sugar to the lemon juice and then top up both the jugs with water. There we go. Is that it? That's it. So what do we do now? Now we wait. You know, it's really very rare that I do absolutely nothing. Even on my days off, I tend to go fishing. <laughs> but I have to say, this is marvellous. <laughs> oh, you can't beat milling on a windless day. Hello, fellas. What are you up to? We're milling. <laughs> Looks more like you're chilling than milling. <laughs> well, there's no wind, see? And milling is a slow process when there's no wind. Here, how do you fancy a spot of rehearsing then, Stumpy? Oh, no can do. If I'm busy rehearsing, I'll never get all that corn ground. Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. Well, in that case, I'll grab a deck chair and help you with the milling. Are the lollies ready yet? No, not yet. It's a shame Little Roy Tractor can't eat lollies to help him cool down. He doesn't need lollies. When his engine is running, he has a big fan that blows fresh air onto him. That's what keeps him cool. But lollies taste nice. What about now, Stan? Are they ready now? Let's take a look. Yeah! Fro 
frozen solid. Great! Can I have a lemon one? There you go. Mm. I think that we may have made a few too many here. We could take some to Mum and Dad. And some to Stumpy and Elsie. Thanks. Mmm. I see it's too hot to rock ding up the down. I see water. It's too hot to rock ding down down in Water. Yeah? Can you keep it down? I'm trying to chill. Oh, sure. Yeah. No problema. It's just that I'm naturally quite noisy. It's, it's like my old mum used to say. She used to say, Water, my son, you are the sunshine of my life. But <laughs> you don't half make a racket. Walter! <laughs> Sorry. Hello, you lot. Mum, Dad, we've got ice lollies. We've made them ourselves. We've actually made too many, so we were wondering if you two would like one. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> oh, you bet. What a great idea. I haven't had a lollipop in a long time. Lollipops are off the menu for an athlete such as myself. I was going to ask you about that. I couldn't help noticing that you're not exercising. Oh, I tried, believe you me. I don't like missing my daily exercise, but it's just too, too hot. Oh, I was overheating. Little Red Tractor has a big fan that keeps him cool. Oh, is that so? <laughs> well, <laughs> when someone invents a fan big enough to cool down the human body, you just let me know. In the meantime, I will just have to stick to lollipops and inactivity. We'd better get going. We've got a few more lollies to deliver before they melt. See you later! Hello. Mmm, tasty. It was bad enough when I had one layabout. Now I've got three of them. Oh, Elsie, love, any chance of something cold to drink? It's roasting out here. You know where the kitchen is. Hmm, I'm not so sure he does. I've never actually seen him in there. Hello. What's going on here? I'm melon, but there's no wind, so we're chilling. Oh, dear. And you with all the corn to mill, Stumpy. Never mind. There are always days like these. Can't be helped. <sighs> hmm. I think I may have an idea. If Little Red Tractor doesn't mind a bit of hard work, that is. Cool enough four, for you, two, Mr. Turvey. Lovely. <laughs> Although I am starting to work up a bit of a sweat now. Did you hear that, little red tractor? Oh, oh do slow down, little red tractor. Oh, I can hardly keep up. Well, I really think Stumpy should learn to chill out. <laughs> yeah, then he would be as cool as all of us. <laughs> No one could be as cool as Little Red Tractor. Yeah, he's the coolest. Yeah! Yay! Phew, that was quite a storm we had last night, Little Red Tractor. Hmm, that gutter's going to need sorting out. Still, should hold off just long enough for us to get up to Top Acre and start sowing some seed. Come on. Thanks, Little Red Tractor. That was a bit close. If there's tiles loose on the roof, the rain's going to get in unless we mend them pretty soon. Hmm. Better go and fetch the ladder. There we go. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Ooh, morning, Stan. <laughs> Morning, Stumpy. Uh, nice driving. <laughs> yeah. Great little mover, isn't it, Per? Hmm? Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, this came to the windmill this morning. Got delivered to the wrong address. <laughs> For you, see. Oh, thanks, Stumpy. Uh, spot a bother with the roof, Stan. What? Oh, yes. Gutter's blocked and there's a couple of slates missing. I was going to go and sew Top Acre, but I don't think the roof will wait. Oh, no, of course it won't. Don't want the rain coming in, do you? Still, I tell you what, I'll fix it for you. Would you, Stumpy? That'd be a real help. Consider it done. I'll just put Nipper in the way. Thanks, Stumpy. Thanks a lot. There. Now you take that to Stumpy at the windmill. I had some flour from him the other day and I haven't paid him for it yet. Okay, Mum. See you later. 
And hurry along. Looks like it's going to rain. Hello, Stan. Hello, little red tractor. Hello, you two. And where are you off to? Stumpy's. Mum asked us to pay him for some flour. Well, Stumpy's at my place at the moment, so perhaps you'd better give it to Elsie. After you've had some lemonade. You would like some. Oh, yes, please, Stan. You bet. Hmm. Ah, can't beat a nice drop of lemon... Whoa! Would you believe it? Must have forgotten to put the brake on. I think Little Red Tractor was playing a joke on you. Hmm. Maybe he was. <laughs> Um, Stan? I uh, wonder if I could borrow your ladder for a few hours. Doing some painting and I can't reach the windows at the... Stan? Hmm, don't think he's in. And Little Red Tractor isn't here either. Well, if Stan's out, I don't suppose he'll mind if I borrow the ladder for a bit. Ah, there. One roof all fixed and as good as new. Oh, the ladder! It, it must have fallen over. Oh, it hasn't fallen over. It's gone. Well, looks like I'm stuck. Maybe there's somewhere I can climb down on the other side of the roof. Well done, little red tractor. All done. And just in the nick of time, too. Stompy must have finished the roof. Looks like it's going to start raining any minute. Better get you undercover. Hello? Have I been working you too hard? That doesn't sound right. Come on, let's have a look at you. Come on, Patch. You better get undercover too. Nothing worse than the smell of wet dog, is there? Hmm. Looks to me like your fan belt has worked a bit loose. I have a spare in my toolbox. Ah, here we go. One brand new fan belt. Oh, sorry. Cold hands. Here we go. Nearly, nearly there. Feel better now? Good. Looks like the rain's easing off. Just as well we got out of it, eh, Patch? <laughs> Asleep again. <laughs> Chasing rabbits in your dreams, eh, Patch? Get me off this rock roof! Hello? That wasn't you, was it, boy? Help! It's coming from outside. Help! Get me down! I'm cold and I'm wet and Stumpy? I... That you? Yes! And I'm stuck! What? Where's the ladder? I don't know! It's gone! One minute it was there, next minute, there it wasn't. Well, we'll have to get you down somehow. Little red tractor, think I've got a job for you. Stumpy stuck on the roof. No, I don't know how it happened, but the ladder's gone. So we'll have to use this. Don't worry, Stumpy. We'll have you down from there in no time. Right. Here we go. There. Right. Catch this. Oh, oh, missed. Sorry, Stumpy. This time, eh? <laughs> Got you. Well done. Now, I want you to put the rope round the chimney. What? All right. But get ready to catch me. Don't worry, you'll be fine. That's it. Steady. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, pass the rope round the chimney. OK, Stumpy, this is the hard bit. The hard bit? Oh, it hasn't been exactly easy up to now. I know, you're doing great, Stumpy. Put your foot in the noose and lower yourself over the roof. Take the strain, little red tractor. 
gently does it. Whoa. 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 Hang on tight, Stumpy. Penny tighter. And me hands will seize up. Oh, oh. Stan, what, what's happening? The rope must have got caught on something. Forwards again. OK, and back up. Oh, oh. Hurry, Stan. The rope's starting to fray. And I don't know how long the chimney's going to take my weight, Stan. It's... Oh! Come on, little red tractor. You can do it. Oh, oh, my. OK, Stumpy. Oh, yes. Well, oh, I think so. Thanks, Stan. Thanks, little red tractor. Ah, uh, there you are, Stan. Hope you don't mind. Borrowed your ladder for a while. Needed to finish painting my... Hello. What are you up to, Stumpy? I'm not up anymore, thank goodness. Mr Jones, you took the ladder. Yes? Why? Something wrong? Oh, yes. Just a bit. You see, Stumpy was fixing my roof, and he's been up there for ages. Little Red Tractor's only just managed to get him down. Oh, my word, I'm... Well, uh, I'm sorry, Stumpy. Stan, if there's anything I can do to make amends... Well, there just might be, Mr Jones. Feeling better now? Oh, much better, thank you. <laughs> Good to be back on the ground. <laughs> Good job, Little Red Tractor. Lucky you and Little Red Tractor got me down when you did. It's pouring again now. <laughs> Might have got soaked. Yes. I wonder how Mr Jones is getting on. <sighs> oh, no! If anybody sees me up here, I'm done for. Never to show my face anywhere. Making a lovely job of fixing that chimney is. <laughs> <laughs>